Yo, what up guys, Ponchi in the house, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a drum loop in Ableton Live 10. Now, first thing you wanna do, check your tempo. Make sure the tempo's where you're at, where you wanna be. I'm going to go ahead and use the default tempo, which is 120. Now, you're gonna go ahead and click on your first channel here. These are the default channels that come up. You got two MIDI channels, two audio channels. Today, we're just gonna use the MIDI channel, which would be for a drum kit that you're gonna use to make your loop. Now, the first thing you wanna do is probably go to the left here, go to one of your packs, go to the drums, um, whichever one is easier for you, and choose a drum kit. I'm just gonna go to drums, I'm just gonna use a random kit here. We got the uh, 808 core, let's use that. I'm gonna drag that into the loop box here. Okay, so now you have, you'll notice it changed to the 808 core kit. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and click on this first loop box here. And now you'll see it turns green or whatever color you have it set to by default. Double click on that once again. And down here, I'm gonna make this a little bigger. You have a section for every single uh, drum hit in the 808 kit, in whatever kit you selected. Um, now, you can go ahead and see that this is laid out in four beats, basically. So right here, you have beat one, you have beat two, beat three, and beat four. Now, this whole thing is considered a bar. This is a little bit of music theory lingo um, that you should definitely know. Don't let the word music theory scare you off. But uh, so basically what you can do is each one of these uh, rows corresponds to the sounds right here. So if you click right here, if you double click in the first little box right here, you'll see that a kick appears. So if, for example, if you want to put a kick on every beat, you would do it like so. And we'll go ahead and play that. Oh, sorry. You'll actually go ahead and play it over here where the loop is. Now remember to ignore, in fact, you know what? We can go ahead and turn the metronome off for right now, just because of the nature of how we're making this loop. So it's gonna keep looping automatically um, in the default settings, but right here, we all we have is a kick on each beat, you know, kind of bland, kind of boring. So you wanna go ahead and add some snare to that. The kick and the snare are by far the most important parts to any drum loop, to any drum beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the snare on the two and the four. So if you counted it out, of course, it would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then at the bottom here, you also have these little red markers. They correspond to how intense you want the hits to be basically let me go ahead and stop this for a sec so if you mouse over here you'll see that it highlights the kick so if i wanted that first kick to be not as intense but i wanted the second kick to be well let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and and, and turn that around we want the first kick to be intense we want the second one to be not as intense because we have a snare playing so you know we, we can turn down the kick just a little bit so let's go ahead and play that We'll do the same for the third and fourth beat. We want the the third third beat kick to be intent more intense. We want the fourth beat kick to be not as intense. And on these ones, these beats that have overlapping notes, you can see that there are two uh, red lines for each note. So the snare is is almost at max intensity on on both of these beats. So that's uh that's a pretty your pretty standard beat there you know you you can call that a two four beat. Um, so the next once you have your kick and your snare set, the next most obvious thing to do is to add some hi hat to it. So let's go ahead. We have the hi hat closed right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some hi hat. And I mean you can do this randomly if you're not a drummer or whatever just start clicking random boxes and then loop it and see how it sounds. You know, that's the easiest way to get this kind of thing done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just some uh, hi-hat. Just random. 
Maybe we'll do three for the first, first beat. Right? Not a bad little beat if I do say so myself. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That That's it in its simplicity. Now you can take this loop and you can change, you know, you can move these things around wherever you want, you know? Ooh, look at that. Just just moving one note can change the dynamic of a beat so, so much. Like, the dynamic not might be the right word, but it'll change the feel of the beat. So that's pretty much it you know play with it if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below please like and subscribe if you feel like i've earned it and uh you guys have a good one